Welcome to Super Skarmory's Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow Walker. Now, it's not like me to play games like this, but, uh, Castlevania games are great. And if you're into those, like, vampire killing, zombie slaying kind of games, and you, you really should try out Castlevania. The year is 2035. Crowds of spectators are gathering around in anticipation of the first full solar eclipse of the 21st century. My name is Soma Cruz and I am a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. I live near the Hakuba Shrine, an ancient shrine with strong ties to Japanese mythology. Me and Hakuba, the only dar of the shrine's caretaker, is both my classmate and my childhood friend. I started making my way to the shrine to see the eclipse. But for some strange reason, it seemed longer than normal. When I finally managed to get through the shrine gate, my senses began to dim. The pitch black sun is holding chaotic darkness together, trying to rouse a sleeping soul, as if looking for its missing other half. Uh, names, I don't really know names that great. I'm guessing it's Soma Cruz, but it doesn't really matter. So, where am I? And who is that shady looking character? Uh, go ahead. Uh, where are we? Dracula's Castle? Okay, this guy's crazy. I, I don't trust him. He's shady. Whoa, that guy's definitely shady. Go back where you came from. Wow, that's one powerful knife. That thing just like killed that enemy with one hit. Whoa, I have this crazy power. I still don't trust this guy. Alright, Castlevania. If you've never played the games, it's kinda hard. At the top left, you have your health and magic points bar. You come to the castle corridor. The music should sound really familiar if you've watched all my walkthroughs. So you can kill zombies, and there's four things you're looking to get off of them. One's experience for a whole nother level. One is uh, a clothing item, and another's a really powerful weapon. And of course, the fourth thing is the soul. And I just sucked up the weapon, and it's a lot more powerful if you have it. Um... So just come along, there's really nothing in this room. Now that soul you collected, uh, the winged skeleton, you can try it out by pressing up plus B. Or, depend on what your attack is, you have the ability to change it. Uh, the candles will always give you money unless your magic bar isn't complete, which is the green bar. Uh, elsewhere it gives you hearts which restore health, or your magic. Now, the hearts actually have a different purpose from uh, earlier Castlevania games, so. But, Mario of Sorry is considered the best of the Game Boy Advance. These rooms are save rooms. You can, they will heal you up completely, and... If you're looking for a good soul, whenever you get a soul, you'll get a description of the soul. And these merman, their souls are probably the best early game soul. So you can try to suck them up. Oops. I still like the winged skeleton soul, even though it isn't that great. If you come to this door, you're going to come to the underground reservoir. 
which really isn't that big. Tiny Devil Souls are good too. I keep thinking I have the slide ability because the last time I played this game I have like everything. Down here you can grab the pendant. Now if you're going this way you're gonna run into some killer fish. Now you can't swim and you just like float on top of water. Don't you wish you could do that in real life? Like you could just like enter the water and just float. The killer fish have uh they give off a soul that attacks underwater enemies, but it's useless out of water, but Having the killer fish soul is actually kind of nice just coming down here. Grab the tasty meat there, and that heals 290 health, which is really good. Now, in this game, it's kind of hard playing when I film, because I'm not used to having my Game Boy this way, but... So I might have lower health than normal. If you get enough uh, experience points, you'll level up. Right now I have 102 experience and 102 is needed to get to the next level. When you level up, you'll get stronger, obviously. And it's not... The leveling up is very important. You don't really need to be too high of a level early on, but as the game gets harder, you're going to have to level up. Come back to the castle corridor. By the way, some other controls. If you press uh, select, it will give you a castle map. And pressing start obviously brings up the menu. Uh, if you go down to the underground reservoir, save again just in case. Up here you can grab a cape. And it's really up to you if you think it's better than the pendant. It gives you better defense but lower luck. Personally, I prefer more defense than luck. In here, fight off some skeletons. Whoa! The skeleton soul is really horrible. I really don't recommend it at all. If you're looking for the Axe Armor Soul, it's probably your first enemy that you're going to have to hit a few times to destroy it. Its soul's okay, but it's not nothing great. Up here, be ready to duck because of the Skull Archer. But you really can't go any further than that. Now in here, this is a boss door. And every time there's a boss battle, it's a tough enemy. It really isn't too bad. It's kind of hard to access the L button for me, but backdashing really helps. Uh, using the Winged Skeleton Soul also is nice if you're at a distance. Now, after every boss battle soul, you'll get this orb and it heals you up. That is probably the easiest boss battle in all of Castlevania history. I am serious. It's really easy. Come grab the castle map after the battle. And it gives you a really big map. It will show you all the way to the chapel and everything. And then here's another save room.